Hello there, Ziggler here. Um, I thought I'm gonna make this, uh, well, quote-unquote guide on uh, my bank alt, for example. Like, this is not a, the optimal way. Um, you can mix max and with professions and everything, but this is just the way that I've done it and planning on making, like, expanding it. Um, but I'm gonna do this step by step, and you s oh, there it is, <laughs> like way over there. You can see uh, the actual guide here, um, like a step by step guide. It's, we're gonna make this super simple. So let's just start like by step one, and that is that we're actually gonna make a tauren if we play horde. Um, I don't know about alliance, but you could probably do the same thing. I don't know where the boon of the Black Fathom uh, actually drops in what city on the Alliance. So that's the reason why I don't really know. Uh, but for the sake of this video, we're going to make a Tauren. And it's going to make sense in just a couple of, in just a uh, little bit. Like once we made it, we, if we can, let's send uh, like a few gold to it uh, just to make it easier. So that's step number two. Step number three is to level it to level five. And the reason uh, we're gonna get to is because of some professions that is locked behind level five. So then on step, okay, it's actually, <laughs> actually made it wrong there. Okay, so it said step three, uh, the second step three <laughs> in this case. Um, so the second step, step three, is park yourself in Thunder Bluff, and the reason is because of the boon of Black Fathom that actually drops here in, in Thunder Bluff, which gives us 20% movement speed, which is awesome, since we're gonna run a lot between over here, and you can't see it over there, to over here. <clears throat> so we run a bit faster here like running in between so that's very nice that we run faster so step number four is actually to get an uh, first aid first aid is one of those professions like uh, secondary professions that doesn't require a level like I, I think the first one you need level five but the second one like you don't actually need level 10 uh, it's like way later so you can actually get it to 150 right now and uh, the reason is because you can see, I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, you can actually see here, wait. <laughs> uh, yeah, it has no requirement to get to level, to level 150. And the reason why we want to have this is because we can make money with the lay, uh, waylaid supplies that is in the season of discovery that you um, they drop around in the world and you can turn them in for the reputation um, in the various uh, capital cities capital cities and you, with the first aid you can actually get the you can craft the heavy linen bandages which is selling on auction house for okay let's see here heavy linen Bandages. So this sell for okay, it's not that much, but we're gonna get up there. So for example, you, you can um, I'm gonna show it a bit later on some other professions. But the thing is, like sometimes you can actually buy the linen cloth for way cheaper and make the heavy linen bandages and sell them for a profit because people are needing it for the supply creatives and people buy them. Uh, like straight out of the auction house because they're lazy and stuff like that and they have the money and they don't want to like be bothered and then once you get a little bit higher you can actually learn the heavy wool bandages which is also part there on the port uh, step four which sells for okay let's have the wool bandages so that's almost four gold. So um, you can see I've sold over 300 on this one. And oh no, no not on this one, like on this account with a 14% price sold. 
and it's probably like 30% profit, maybe even more sometimes. So basically, you need two wool, wool, uh, wool cloth for to make one wool cloth. So that's three. So times two. So at the moment, you'd actually have done profit on it, but sometimes it drops in price, like the price on wool cloth tanks, and you can actually buy them out, craft them, and resell them for a big profit. Well, a nice profit. So after that, we can go to step number five, which is enchanting. Uh, this is one of those where it's actually locked uh, behind level five. You need level five to learn this. But the reason is because um, in classic, enchanting makes it so you can disenchant any item. It doesn't have a required skill. So it's going to be like once we're level 60 in like phase six or whatever, you can still so far, um, it, it depends on if they change it. But in classic, you can actually disenchant level like I uh, like level 60 gear on level five, which is awesome. And here's another thing. Uh, so here's an example I'm going to make. Um, here's another thing with the uh, the enchantings version of Waylight Supplies, which is the uh, lesser magic wand. So let's see here. It's gonna take. So this, for example, right now we will make a profit right now because the wood is actually you can see it there, 38 copper, like vendor buy price. Which uh, if you have auctionator, you will be able to use this one, this search one, and it will just be here. It's it's so good. So, for example, like we can buy these for, well, it's going to be a little bit profit, but like in the long run, it can be a lot. So that's one uh, one of the things on enchanting. Um, later on, at the moment, um, as you can see, I set skill 45, Wayla supplies minor wizard oil. The thing with them is that they actually are not part, like they are not in the game yet. Um, probably because 8 spell damage is quite a lot on level 25. So I guess that's the reason. But that's another thing that you can craft uh, for a... And that is a, actually a recipe that you can buy. Moving on to step number 6, which is mining. Mining is one of those professions that I really, really enjoy having on a bank alt. Because that's one of the ones that you can uh, level to... Let's go over here. You can actually level it to 150, even though you're level five. So you can even learn mining. I'm just gonna check. Okay, so the next one you actually need to be level 26, but this is phase one. So this is quite nice for a like bank uh, alt. And the um, the good thing with mining uh, is actually that you can you don't actually have to go out or in the world and um, mining stuff to skill it up. You can actually melt it up, like melting, which is uh, some some things that, uh, that's one of those things that a lot of people don't, don't actually know. On this character, I haven't mined a single time. I've gotten to 125 in skills just by smelting. I've been buying the copper ores on the auction house uh, let's see here. So here, for example, you can even see it's a profit right now. So if I would buy one copper ore and melt it and sell, it's a four copper profit. It's not much. I know that, but it's quite nice because the the copper, like copper bars, is actually a part of the Waylight supplies over there. I keep pointing this way, <laughs> but it's like over there. Uh, and you need 24 of them for to turn in the waylight supplies. So sometimes, same thing with the other stuff. It can tank in price, and if you can scoop it up, you can make a profit on it. It's not much, but it's a cool thing. And in the mining part, you have the copper bar, bronze bar, silver bar, which is all part of the waylight supply. So this is one that you don't actually get anything. And here, for example. Okay, so here's actually one of those nice ones. So if I would buy one tin bar and one copper bar at the moment, 
craft it and, res and resell it because it get you you will get two of these you can actually see the profit is one copper it's not much but it stacks up because you need 12 of the bronze uh, the bronze bars to turn in the waylight supplies so you can see it actually stacks up so that's like for one uh, to fill one waylight supplies the this supply thingy you need 12 so that's actually uh, 12 silver in profit which is nice it's like it's so chill to do this and you can also uh, make sure to pay attention to the iron smelt iron because the earlier uh, I wasn't I wasn't that fast enough though but earlier that like it, it had dropped in price like a lot and I did I was unfortunate enough to not scoop it up in time but you can make some like a, a little bit of profit there as well um, there was one more thing I was gonna say about this ah never mind moving on to step number seven which is fishing well fishing is one of those professions that uh, a lot of people don't actually understand that you can make money of it on a main but for me I can actually let's try if I actually can get one I know for a fact that I can get one um, let's see if I actually can get one okay got away uh, never mind uh, you can get the uh, raw brilliant small fish um, which can actually be in this lake and the reason why I want that is because in the step number eight you will see that uh, cooking is one of those that you don't actually need level 10 requirement either you can get it to 150 so from a vendor you can buy brilliant small fish which you can make out of the raw brilliant small fish uh, I haven't skilled that one yet but I'm gonna give this this one for example um, you can see on the side there there's a lot of the different ones that you can actually uh, like the brilliant small fish uh, spiced wolf meat you need uh, cooking 10 in order to learn it from the vendor and let's say for example here I want to craft these you see I can actually buy the small eggs and the vendor price from small spices is um, you get you buy them in five so that's ten silver actually but for example we can actually buy this out uh, you don't buy them you, you don't buy the ingredients that you can buy from a vendor on auction house because if you do that you most likely will lose uh, profit by doing that like so so this is just dumb but well people do it because some people actually buy it um, so for example now like I could spend gold on this one reselling and make a profit and just keep going and like accumulating and you know, getting up the actual cooking uh, skill up doing this way and later on you have the spiced wolf meat which is one of like it's a very good profit I know that for a fact on my main that has maxed out uh, cooking and uh, you can actually as well find the um, you can see over there it says a recipe let's let me do like this actually oh screw what the hell there we go there it is there recipe smoked uh, beer meat which is buy it from, uh, bought from a vendor you can actually buy it from auction house as well if you feel like you have the money um, and that is another thing that you can buy and craft like this because sometimes you will make a profit and yeah it's just so easy to actually make money so let's see here for example I got three gold incoming from the lesser magic wand from the enchanting and you can see here that all of these are with profit 
So, and I, I think I got like four or three golds in the the mailbox. Yeah, exactly, almost five gold. So you can see here, bronze bar, silver bar, bronze bar, silver bar, bronze bar. Like, it, it, it's so chill to do this. Um, yeah, this, this is basically what I'm I'm doing. Um, I, I really enjoy, like, just being on, on this one sometimes because you can do so much with it. And I'm gonna keep increasing and maxing out all the skills. Like, first agent, for example. Like, you really should start farming if you have a main. You should start looking for a wool cloth farm and do that farm and make them into heavy linen bandages. They, they sell so quickly. It's insane. And it's a huge, like even huge more profit if you actually farm them. But this is just a gimmicky way that you can actually do it. Just buying things from the auction house and yeah, resell them as a challenge, for example. Like... I would actually enjoy doing a kind of a challenge where you only have like level fives and just learn the basic ones because there is so many waylaid supplies that you can make from level five just as a gold maker right now because like all you need is to start with some gold and yeah hey it's so it's, it's very simple i highly recommend to just do this and like another funny thing with the bank alt is that you can do if you want to is to pimp it out <laughs> like bling, put, buy some blink and bling bling and stuff like that just for fun but yeah that's the guide i uh, hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one bork bork